I think a lot of people get very focused on being perfect in their nutrition. Where what we're really striving for is consistency day after day. The way one person fuels isn't going to be the way that another person successfully fuels. So we always want to make sure that we're tailoring it to the athlete and what their needs are, but also what their preferences are. We can come up with the best fueling plan in the world, but if they don't like the food that you're serving or the food that you're recommending to them, they're not gonna follow that. Amuse me and put some vegetables on your plate. So we also need to Could factor in the human side to the performance side as well. <laughs> my favorite part of my job is that no day looks the same. Whether that's hopping on the line, bringing over a pregame meal, um, or meeting one-on-one -on -one with the athletes. I wear many different hats. It's chaos. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. But I'm so glad that you're taking it. For men's basketball in particular, I work really closely with Steve, Tessa, and Raleigh to help support anything that they need. We look at the training loads really closely. Each athlete will get a report at the end of the day as well as a fueling guide so that way they understand how they need to fuel their body so they can be prepared for the next day. Some of the tests that we use include blood work testing, looking at iron and vitamin D levels, sweat analysis and hydration testing. And then we also are looking at the Connexon data for training loads and pairing that with their fueling station usage. We share all this data with our athletes. Um, I think knowledge is power and for them to see what the information is makes it a lot easier to get their buy-in. Whether they're a numbers guy, whether they're more of a colors guy and they want the quick snapshot, they can take that um, and internalize that and decide what to do from there. It's actually really fun because there's a good group of the guys who are really into it. Do you guys need a shopping cart? We've gone to the grocery store together multiple times. I'm so excited you guys are here. We're gonna break into different groups. We have reusable grocery bags for you guys to free, but if you guys aren't a big person who likes to eat fruits and vegetables, you can do one of these juices that might taste a little bit sweeter. And Being really them. intentional with them and trying to have them take ownership in their own nutrition and their own fueling will really help them have that buy-in to sustain it. Yep. Yeah, those would be great. Um, take it. Let's take a look. With having a lot of consistency from year to year of players returning, those older athletes are able to kind of help create that culture of this is what we do here. We take care of ourselves on the basketball court and also off. That really helps the younger incoming athletes so they know when they have a question about food, they can come to me. One where we're having some cramping issues. So did you do the Element and the Gatorade or what? What are you doing? And going back to that human side as well and just having that open lines of communication and understanding that it's not a judgment zone, but telling me the truth and understanding what, what you're doing, how you're feeling yourself is going to help me be a better practitioner and ultimately help them be a better athlete. Cool. Yeah, especially if you're not able to do that halftime snack, that's fine. I don't want you to get an upset stomach, but we need to make sure those carbohydrates are keep coming in. I think there's a level of excitement around them, not just externally, but within the team, I see a level of excitement for what everyone is doing. The coaching staff, Tad, does a great job in bringing in really great guys. They understand that there is so much that goes into having good athletes, good humans as well, um, and making sure that they're healthy and prepared to play. That's something I love about the men's pregame meal too. Everyone comes in, everyone sits down together. We've got our athletes eating with our coaches, with support staff, with media as well, and I think that does so much. So food's really seeing that go beyond just how it fuels your body, but also how it can help fuel the team bonding as well. The guys on the team are great. They're really fun to be around. They are great teammates, uh, not just within the team themselves, but the bigger team of all the support staff that 
works with men's basketball too. I can't sing higher praises for Riley and Steve and Tessa in the way that we're all able to work together. All you gotta keep thinking about. Everyone upholds a level of excellence um, and excitement and fun for what they do and you can really see the passion every single day, day in and day out for what they want to build and what they are building here at CU. For me, I firmly believe that food is more than just nutrition and fuel. It also is culture in a way for people to come together. Especially with what we have going on this year with men's basketball, the excitement around the program is just going to continue to build.